and welcome today i have something very very exciting for you because I found a new Harry Potter box. Technically they started in March 2019, but so far I haven't seen any Harry Potter YouTubers unbox them. And I found it in Poland of all places. So it's a Europe based Harry Potter box and they are not the same as Gobstone Alley. I repeat, they are not. They just have the same shipping company, but they are called Magical Suitcase and I ordered one of their boxes. It's here. And I can't wait to unbox it with you guys. If you like these kind of magical unboxings, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit that bell so you never miss another video of me again. Enough talking, let's get unboxing. This is the size of the box. I mean, this is, I, I get why they call it a magical suitcase because man, this is big. I can only imagine how many items they can put in this box. Um, this is the Halloween box. Uh, I guess that's because I ordered the box in October. They only shipped it at the 29th of October. So I don't really see how it could have gotten here on Halloween. But still, Halloween is a nice theme and I'm excited to see which Harry Potter items they put in there. The box was 43 euros and that does not include your shipping costs. And when we go to their website, you can see they also have other boxes like the Magical Suitcase Special box. So that's a bit more expensive. Then apparently they have a Rick and Morty box um, books. <laughs> They have a Rick and Marty books in January 2020 um, and they also have a Magical Suitcase Advent Calendar, another small edition and then we have the Magical Suitcase Christmas in Hogwarts which I'm really excited for and if this box is a winner then we're definitely gonna go for the Christmas in Hogwarts box as well. So let's see if this is gonna be a one-time purchase or maybe another subscription. I'm gonna try and give you guys a little sneak peek but this box is so freaking big and heavy that it's really hard for me but I'm gonna try okay oh wow it's packed so the box is right beside me and I think there is a spoiler sheet on top so I'm just gonna move that away from me and we're gonna grab the first item and the first item is something made of wood. <laughs> that is boning myrtle. <laughs> okay, it looks really cool, but what? What do I need this for? <laughs> what is this? I was apparently missing a piece, and that piece goes right here. And then we have, and I had take a little sneak peek at this spoiler sheet to get this but this is a toilet paper holder with moaning myrtle <laughs> on there that is so creative and so funny because yeah she's the ghost in the bathroom so now you have your own moaning myrtle toilet paper holder so that's pretty funny and well made i feel something in bubble wrap This is Monk's Honey. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that has to do with Harry Potter. Am I forgetting something? I think it's just something they put in there so you can sweeten your drink like tea. I mean, it is real honey, so that's nice. Next up, what is this? Oh, these are chocolates. Okay, and it says handmade with love. These look adorable. So they were made for Halloween because there's a little bat on there and they have this orange and black color. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's just regular chocolate, so. But it's really tasty. It's really good. <laughs> there is a envelope. What do we have? Is some kind of invitation. The paper looks really nice. 
Let's see, we can only accept huntsmen whose heads have parted company with their bodies. You appreciate that it would be impossible otherwise for members to participate in hunt activities such as horseback, head juggling, and head polo. It is with the greatest regret, therefore, that I must inform you that you do not fulfill our requirements. With very best wishes, Sir Patrick Delaney Popmar. So this is, of course, the letter that Headless Nick got when he tried to join the Headless Horseman. So that is pretty cool that they made a replica out of this. Next up. <clears throat> this feels like tea. Yeah, it's tea. Okay, which tea did we get? Ooh, yeah. Helena Ravenclaw's tea. Yay, go magical suitcase. We love Ravenclaw's. I am a Ravenclaw. So, <laughs> we got Helena Ravenclaw's tea. Look at that. Oh, wow, it smells really strong. Smells really good as well, really fruity. <laughs> I can actually see like the flowers in there. And I can use my monk's honey in my raven claw tea. Yeah, getting a bit too excited over that. Okay, next item. Okay, I'm feeling a box and I just want to get the box out because boxes almost always contain something good. And this is the it is a Funko Pop! Oh, do I have this one? No, I don't have this one! And I have this one on my wish list. I have this on my wish list from Pop in a Box. Uh, yeah, this is so cool! I have a bloody Baron Funko Pop! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Let me give you a quick look at the collection of this pop. And I'll just get him out of the box. Oh my gosh, he looks so creepy. And this goes really well in an October box. That's a really cool idea. Next item is something in bubble wrap. And it is... What is this? Oh, there's a little note. This feels really magical. Okay. It... Oh, it's a Skelegro. Induces growth of a bone tissue, two doses to cure mild fractures. And here you have this little bead with, <laughs> And those are skeleton heads. This looks really cool. Next item is something with a lid on there. What is this? Prefix boss. Oh, and it is the head of Moaning Myrtle. Yeah, they're really taking the theme Halloween October seriously because we got a lot of ghost item in here. That is so awesome. So this is Prefix Boss and I think this is like bath salt. Oh wow, it smells like bubble gum. It smells really good. I just don't have a bath. <laughs> I only have a shower. There is another item in bubble wrap. Is this another potion? This is cool. This is powdered mandrake root. We have another thing in bubble wrap. And this is... What is this? Grey Lady Perfume Oil. Oh, wow. I have never seen anything like this in a box. So that is a first. That is such a lovely item and the great lady is of course the ghost of Ravenclaw. So let's take a sniff. I'm not sure what I think of this smell. It smells like strawberry but that I don't think a human should smell like strawberry, so I'm not sure if this is something for me, but... Yeah, it's really, really sweet. It looks really cool, so at least I can display this. I'm just gonna grab the next thing that I see, and that is a... Oh, a candle! And it says Hagrid's Halloween Pumpkin. Hmm. Ooh. Wow. This looks cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this smells so 
Nice. <laughs> this smells like cookies. Like Christmas cookies. I can feel a piece of paper. And what is this? It is the petrification page from the spell book that Hermione used to revert the petrification from the basilisk and you need powdered mandrake root for it. I can feel a print or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is just not my thing. I like that they put all the ghosts in one print, but I just think that the, the art style is just not my style. But it's such a shame because I bet someone has put a lot of effort in making this. So I feel kind of bad to say that I'm not going to use this. But I, I think it's the coloring for me. I just don't like the background colors and then all the ghosts packed in the middle. I think we are down to the last item. Is this another candle? Ah, oh, this is the Bloody Baron candle. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, that looks really creepy. <laughs> oh my, it smells great though. <laughs> okay, you guys, I think we have gotten all the items out of this magical suitcase and man, there were a lot of items in this box. Let's take the spoiler sheet and let's read it together. So it says, Dear wizards and witches, welcome to the Great Hall. It is a great honor to have you here tonight, when the veil between the worlds of the living and the dead is the thinnest. Just for this occasion, we have prepared the Halloween box for you. Its main theme are the ghosts of Hogwarts. Unfortunately, Peeves made a mess in Filch's office again, so the arrival of the Bloody Baron was delayed. We hope you will forgive us for this. After all, ghosts do not have a sense of time. The Bloody Baron Funko Pop, our noble guest of honor, <laughs> Hogwarts Ghost Print, representatives of four houses in one picture and our mischief among them. Helena Ravenclaw Tea, tea that is modest outside and rich inside. It will amaze you with its flavor. Monk's Honey, a perfect addition to a tea or butterbeer. Hagrid's Halloween Pumpkin Soya Candle with a sweet pumpkin scent. Bloody Baron Soya Candle. It's a blood-marked candle with a hint of grapes and sandalwood. Hmm. Grey Ladies Oil. Sweet body oil with nourishing properties. And it says oil with a natural cranberry scent. Oh, is that what I smelled? I thought it was like very sweet strawberry, but I guess it's cranberry. Maybe uh, when you put it on your skin, it smells a bit different. Uh, Prefax Bath. So Myrtle Sparkling Bath Dust. Petrification spellbook page, yet another old book page to your collection. The letter to Nick, the Headless Hunt application response. The Mandrake Root Powder, a spare ingredient for petrification cure. Scalagrel, a portion of elixir for minor fractures and bruises. Myrtle gadgets, <laughs> malicious peeps, mess with our machine. And instead of creating a jewelry rack, it turned poor Moaning Myrtle into a toilet paper holder. <laughs> And then finally, we've got the Belgian chocolate, a sweet treat for the delay. Overall, a really strong box. I like the theme House Ghost. I mean, that is a theme that is not seen much in Harry Potter boxes. And I think they did a great job on that. The items, most of the items I love. They are great quality and they are usable as well. Uh, yeah, I think it is worth a try to get another magical suitcase. So, hmm, am I gonna go for the subscription or another one time purchase? I think I'm gonna go for another one time purchase because I mean, I love the box, but it's not the cheapest of the boxes that are out there and I just want to try it one more time. So I will be ordering their Christmas at Hogwarts Magical Suitcase December box. And I am looking forward to it. I mean, Christmas at Hogwarts is so magical. And I can't wait to see what items they are going to go for with this terrific theme. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And all that's left for me to say is have a magical day and let's stay in touch.